In the upper half of the window in Logic Pro is the toolbar and the toolbar can contain a couple very handy commands that you can access right away. Now that I think of it, there's actually a zoom tool right here. There's the colors window. Very handy if you want to change the colors of sections, big or small, needs no explanation. But what I do want to talk about is the editing commands that you can find in the toolbar. Well, let me start off by mentioning that you can customize the toolbar by right clicking on it. You'll get this customized toolbar option that opens up this window with all these commands that you can freely add to your toolbar. Maybe if I want to have a stretch to locators or strip silence on my toolbar, this one can be very handy to have direct access to. Just click it and it just appeared right there. And there's quite a lot of them. You just need to go through them to experiment to see what your preferred commands are. My own, I will disclose now, are already in here. They are split by playhead crop, repeat section, cut section, insert silence, which can be very handy, and set locators. They are, of course, located in the bar ruler. Uh, you can move them around. This is the left locator the right locator and this is how you resize the cycle range but what if you want to have the locators set around a very small area for instance only one beat in this case the kick of course I can do it like this but sometimes this can be a little tedious and it's nice to be able to just select part of your arrangement and click the set locators button to move them to exactly that point you see it's now moved to around the kick area. If I click the clap region and set locators, that is where they will end up. Of course, this also works with my marquee tool. Remember, if I just click command, there is my marquee tool. If I only would select one bar with the marquee tool, like so, click set locators, and there you go. Now, the set locators command can be very handy because you can follow it up with any of the other commands in your toolbar. For example, let's say for arranging purposes, I want to have a piece of silence in between bars 5 and 7, this area right here. I just select it with my marquee tool. I'll click insert silence. But wait, didn't go well, did it? No, I had to move the locators first because these commands work on the locators. And that's where the set locators button comes in handy. Let me undo this. So. All of these commands work on the area that you select with your locators. In case of insert silence, I use the marquee tool to select the area I want it in. I set locators, then do insert silence, and there you have it, the gap you wanted. And of course, all the automation you might have underneath these regions will be moved to the right as well. Repeat section is another one of those very convenient commands. If I just select part of the arrangement, well, maybe just uh, two beats, these last two beats, I set locators and do repeat section maybe a couple times so you can see the potential this is very fast and easy for your workflow cut section same thing of course set the area set locators and cut it out and this really would be a couple moves extra if I would use the scissors tools for it let me undo it and show it to you I need to select this part go to my scissors tool Cut this, go back to the pointer tool, delete this, then select the rest and move that to the left. So you can see why these toolbar commands are really a lot faster. Just set locators, cut section, and it's done. No discussion possible. How about stretch locators? Well, I don't have anything particular in this arrangement that is stretchable, but how about the other one, crop? Crop is like trim. Let's say this is an area that I want to keep. I just uh, want to hold on to these four beats and not the surrounding area. You don't need to set locators, by the way, for this, but this is just a habit of mine. So I just select it with my marquee tool. I'm going to ditch the rest of the region, just crop it, and it's done. It gets even more interesting if I need to hold on to a middle part of a region and delete the surrounding parts. Just select it and crop it and there you go same thing goes for multiple tracks of course I want to hold on to this bar over here and the rest around it needs to go just select it with the marquee tool crop and you're all set 
Final one then is split by playhead. If I put my playhead anywhere in the range and let's say I want to split the clap at that exact point, I just go ahead and split it right there. So that is the toolbar with all these super convenient workflow enhancing commands.